Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing this purple um, pinkish look and um, it's just kind of um, Easter inspired since today is Easter so happy Easter everybody and if you don't celebrate Easter happy Sunday um, so yeah, if you want to know how to do that, how I did this, like, please continue watching. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe uh, even before you watched it. So or I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Don't judge, it's kind of dirty. But I'm going to be taking that palette. That's basically all I'm going to use because I wanted this to be, you know, <laughs> So basically, I'm just going to use most of the palette. I might use a little bit of another palette um, of other palettes, but I think it's just going to be this one for right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do to prime my eyes is I'm just going to go ahead and take my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, and this is in the color Beige. And it just looks like this. That's what it looks like and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this little brown little tiny brush it's a dupe for the artiste brush yes. all over my lid and, and like not neat at all like does not have to be neat at all because I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out with my beauty blender Blend that shit. And then I'll zoom in on my face once I start doing my eyes so you can blend it now. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set them with um, my Airspun Loose Face Powder. And it looks like this. I use this one for baking, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it to set it in. Boom, boom. Just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I don't know what I want to use. I have so many new brushes. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe brush and it's just like a flat. I don't know. It doesn't. It's just gonna be a Morphe brush. And I know this is a foundation brush, but I don't really use these brushes for my foundation. For some reason, I don't really like it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use it for to set my eyes today. Bam, bam, bam. And I'm just gonna tap it like lightly. I'm not gonna like just go like this. Just tap it lightly on my eyes and my eyelids and all over, all the way up to my brow bone that's where I have my concealer and then this will just help set it in so you'll get less creasing this works for me better than most of the time it works better than with a actual um, prime like a primer for my eyes but <clears throat> we're just gonna go ahead and do that I'm sorry my voice is back and it just looks like this it's just a big blending brush so I'm gonna go ahead and take the color limit on from my palette and this is just I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over my my crease and like like not in exactly my crease just like on my crease and work it in all over my eyeball you will see like to my brow bone because I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal like just a little bit underneath my brow bone and everything else and put a little bit of highlight in there but the rest I want it to blend in beautifully with my eyeshadow I don't want no harsh lines I'm gonna use Cabana Boy and this is a shadow slash blush from the bomb and it looks like this Cabana Boy it's like this I think this is the closest thing I have to like a purpley color so then I'm gonna go ahead and take a cushion brush and it's just smaller and I like it's this is the first time I'm using like the first time ever I'm using my Morphe brushes 
So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tell you how I like them because I just got them in the mail last night. So I'm just gonna put this in the outer corner of my eye. I should have used that for my crimson color, but that's fine. And then I'm going to work a little bit into like my crease up here. But it's just going to be from half of my, like half of my crease all the way to the outer corner. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my flat top brush is actually this is a concealer brush and I don't use it for concealer like I said I don't use a lot of my brushes for what they're meant for I use them for other things that I think they are good for that they work for me so I got this in my ipsy bag in my ipsy yeah my ipsy bag this is what it looks like here and I've used it a couple times before sorry though. don't judge me too hard okay I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Fix Plus and I'm just going to spray that. And I'm going to go ahead in that color and I'm going to go ahead and take Dust. And then this I'm just going to go ahead um, and do this entire, just my lid. I'm just going to put it in all over my, like, my lid and this is a pink like I have pink color and it yeah. so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this pink glittery color on my eye like all over my eyelid Whoa. looks so good look at that This is so pink, like, like pink threw up in my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back with my blending brush. There's nothing on it right now. Like, maybe just, like, no, nothing. And just make sure I blend it in on there because I, I don't want any harsh lines. And I like my eyeshadow, like. Bam, bam, bam. Sorry, babies. Look how pretty that looks. Like, bam, in your face. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing onto my other eye, taking the color dust. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes while I let every all, all of these. I'm gonna go ahead and take my wonderful dreams and this my wonderful dreams palette. And this is this was a holiday collection from Sephora. And it was like twenty dollars when I got it, but it has so beautiful. Like it was twenty dollars. I had to get. I got one for like everyone. And this one I've used this so much. Like it, I hit pan already. It's just so beautiful. Like I love this. Like look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and take Enchanity Eyes, which is right here. And I'm just going to take a little small, like a small, tiny brush. I think this is another concealer brush, but whatever. Just a flat brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and take it on the inner corners of my eyes. It 
looks a little crazy right now or maybe it's just me but then you can go ahead and take your blending another blending brush and blend it in with everything else so you don't look like a crazy maniac it just like brings out like lightens up this entire look and I love it my windows open and I'm just make sure like I'm blending this out so it doesn't look too crazy I like this look though I think it works and it looks good so now basically that everything is set in it's been a couple minutes I'm gonna go ahead and take this Morphe brush and it's just a big Two hours later. Hi guys. So I already did my eyeliner. Um, I, I used the Kat Von D um, tattoo eyeliner in the color Trooper. Um, what I'm going to also do is, and I really wanted to mention this in this video, this eyeliner is already dark enough, but I want to make it even darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette again. And I'm going to go ahead and take it in the, dark, the darkest color they have, which is Crave. And it's it's a black color as well. Ah. So I'm gonna take that, and I'm just gonna take a small angled brush. And it's from the, a small angled brush from Elf, and it's just really small. And I'm just gonna dab it a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over it with um, with that just a little bit because this eyeliner for me i don't know if it's for everyone it doesn't dry matte it dries with like a little bit of gloss in it and i want it matte so that's what i'm gonna do and i only i don't do it in the in my wing on my tiny little wing that i always do i just take it in over all of it down here and that's it it's pretty easy that's the way I just like to do it like I said in my last video I only do tiny wings I never do anything too extreme because it just doesn't look good on me it looks really weird and this part of my face is super oily so I haven't found an eyeliner that will stay on there it will all disappear or look terrible like I've tried it before my friends have tried doing it on me and it just always just it never fails to not stay lashes I also don't oh don't you just hate when that happens um I also don't have any um bottom lashes like they're so small so I never do that either but I don't wear falsies a lot of the time because I think my top eyelashes are pretty um pretty long And if you ever, like, if this ever happens to you, like, like, look, if that ever happens to you, the best way to get rid of it, honestly, is to grab your blending, like, your blending brush and blend it out into, like, until it looks, like, blends into your face. That's just what I like personally to do. It works. It's the best way to get it out without ruining your eyeshadow. And sure, it makes it look a little darker, but it's not a big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one as well. And be a lot carefuler. Careful. it looks pretty good um so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and take just a small like brush like this I'm gonna go ahead and grab my naked basics palette and I'm gonna go ahead and take the color that I used um, I'm gonna go ahead and take liar and just put it on the bottom lash line
just so it doesn't look so like white and plain under there just go ahead and do it to the other eye And you, what you can do is you can, when you do it, you can do it all the way so it connects on there. And I'm also going to go ahead and take a little bit of Cabana Boy and put just a little bit on there because, I don't know, I like this color. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty, like, pinky purple color. I'm just taking a little bit on the corner, like, on the bottom lash line, but just on the outer corner of it. And that is all. If you'd like to do bottom eyeliner, totally up to you. Um, I